whether it's been through one of his four published books, in a classroom with school-aged children, or even randomly on a street where he wants to share his message with those around him, inspirational author and speaker Ricky Roberts III has been on a mission to make sure that people feel valued. Now, at the opening of his You Are Valued nonprofit headquarters, he has a physical base for his mission. I sat down with him to discuss his new location. So, Value has a new home in St. Pete. Yes, yes, um, we just, here, it's in Yacht headquarters where we sit, it's a historical train station, and it's the, the start to the next level and growth for, for your Value, super exciting. And then e even before this headquarters, this is where it all started for you, in yeah. St. Pete. Yeah, St. Pete. Um, born and raised here, and it just, it's been this, this devotion for me to give back to the community and, and the world and um, it's just a, an honor to be a part of having some sort of positive impact in the city. Now obviously tonight, um, this, this place started out with uh, people mm -hmm. and uh, it will slowly change into I'm assuming desks and chairs and what else will be here? Yeah, yeah. Well, desks and chairs are going to be here. <laughs> Conference tables, and we'll have a, a you know whiteboard to write ideas on, and plan events and stuff, and, and just uh, people to fill those desks. And um, I guess beyond desks and chair computers, gonna be good. <laughs> uh, some all different types of, of some of our print materials and things that we get out into the community and the world on a regular basis. There'll be stations for that, to where we can keep track of of where they're going and where they need to go because at, at, up to this point it's been me handling all of this stuff and we need to send cards to Wisconsin or Minnesota or whatever it is and then stay up on top of the groups and developing the programs and trying to raise money and all that all of that on top of it. Um, it's just a, an overall platform for all of that to come together and get people involved. YAV, short for You Are Valued, started with the idea that today's social problems are rooted in the lack of value people feel about themselves. In addition to speaking engagements and youth activities tied with the program, the organization helped spread their message in a unique way. That's where I guess kind of YAV had its novelty piece. It was just the simple action of here you yeah, go. Just hand in this card. Just here you go, take this card. and. Um, Still, when I look at it, it's so simple and it's just, there's nothing to it. I, I didn't expect it to have as powerful as a reception as it has, you know, in, in terms of um, global impact and, and, and really openness to, to what it is, people being willing to receive it and that, that receiving, connecting with people on a deep level. And then those cards, they've, they've gone to Brazil, where else have they gone? Brazil, Honduras, um, Venezuela, Paris, Belgium, Indonesia. Um, and it all had its start at St. Pete. Yeah, St. Pete. It's just, this is, the, this is the hub and it's just branching out from here. And I have, I have had people express interest in starting their own New York values in different, in San Francisco, there's a, a person there that I've been in contact with and somewhere out um, in Washington. Um, that people have talked about wanting to bring the programs and, and the uh, message in itself into their community. So the ultimate vision would be Yacht headquarters sprinkled all over the country. And, and those people with that vision, you provided them with something that's very unique to everybody that first came through these doors today. And that's the what you call the, the building block. Building blocks, yeah. Um, the building block is just, it, it's this vision on, on raising this money to sustain this space, this, this campaign that we're, we're really focusing on over the next several months in different avenues. Uh, and the, the idea was what I've had to do to get to what it is now is just building the blocks, just piecing the blocks together. So now it's at that point where we have the foundation, the foundation's in place, now we need to build up from it. And these blocks are, are symbolic of that building. He still keeps strong ties with the Tampa Bay area, where he encourages children to value one another, an interaction displayed on poster boards at YAV headquarters for supporters to see. But what you do is different. You bring out the message yeah. that teachers teach children amongst themselves. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really um, the innately we, we feel this sense of um, ownership in who we are, this sense of, uh, I think, existence and, and validation of existence. And then sometimes things happen in our life that get stifled, it's pushed down, we get discouraged, we get called names or whatever it is. But regardless of who the person is, when they're, they're, when they're uh, invited to bring that out or to reflect and see that in them, that's when this magic happens. We, they start sharing things with, with, in groups that they don't share with anyone else or that teachers or other people don't have any idea that it's going on until they start to share because it's exposed from feeling what it means to be valued and feeling respected enough and safe enough to step on that platform and look into the, the topics that we're going to discuss.